Gnome Sequencer, the future of spam macros, at least until Blizzard breaks it. Gnome Sequencer is a macro mod which allows you to create a sequence of macros that can be executed with the push of a button. Basically, rather than cycling through abilities themselves, it cycles through macros of those abilities, which means that whenever an ability is on cooldown, the sequence will cycle on to the next available ability, meaning that you're always casting something and the macro is not getting hung up. So it basically does what the script macros were doing, but even better, which is convenient since Blizzard broke the script macros. You can find Gnome Sequencer on WoW Interface. There will be a link to it in the description below. You can download it from there. Download it, unzip it, place it in your add-ons folder, and you're set. One thing to note is that this mod is not compatible with mods like Macro Toolkit or Super Duper Macros, so you'll need to disable those to use Gnome Sequencer. Open up the Gnome Sequencer folder. Inside, you'll find a Lua file that says Example Sequences. Rename it to just Sequences. Rather than making the macros in-game, you're going to be making them through this Sequences file which means that you're probably going to want to download a better text editor like Notepad++. Now, making these macros is really hard to explain, so what I'm going to do is refer you to the mods page that I already showed you. There's a little bit of a description on how to do it there. If you're still confused, I recommend that you go over to wowlazymacros.com to the forums and there are macros available there, examples, and a lot more help because there's a lot of people over there that are working with Gnome Sequencer and making macros. In the near future, I will begin creating class guides and macro guides like I did before, but rather than giving the macro text, what I'm going to do is have a download link to my personal Lua file if you want to use my macros. So be patient for that and that way you won't have to make macros yourself. Uh, but here's an example of one of my macros that I'm working with right now for my Paladin. You can see the sequence, but the important thing to note right now for this guide is the name of the macro, which is Ret S, one word. That stands for Ret Single Target. Now that you have that sequence created in the Lua file, you will load up the game, and you'll create a new macro called Ret S. Don't put anything in the macro field, just put that macro on your action bar, and you will see that BAM! I am now using the macro. So it's a different way to do things, it seems a bit daunting at first, but once you figure it out and once you get it going, it's fantastic. Now for a quick Q&A. Obvious question, is Gnome Sequencer legit? Will it get me banned? No. Gnome Sequencer does not edit game files even though you edit a Lua file, but that is a Lua file that comes with the mod. It completely, perfectly uses the Blizzard API. It doesn't violate anything. It doesn't come with an executable. It's not a bot. Nothing like that. So at the very least, if Blizzard decides that they don't like Gnome Sequencer, it's their responsibility to break it because it completely uses the API that's provided for mod writers to create mods. So it's not bannable and it might get broken because Blizzard may not like it but who knows when or how long that'll take could be tomorrow could be the end of the expansion could be never so you're safe there now the next question obviously is is this going to make me do fantastic DPS well it's a spam macro so it's not going to follow rotations optimally so you need to keep that in mind just like the old macros even though it's a little bit more efficient than those old macros you're still going to see yourself casting some abilities later than you wished you would have or casting other abilities sooner than you wished you would have because it doesn't follow any kind of timers. That would be botting and we don't want that. One last thing to point out, this is a reference guide for when I do start making my class videos and macro videos for everyone. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that this does help you but please understand that this is all the quote tech support you're going to get from me. So if you start spamming my inbox with questions, I'm going to block you. I'm not tech support, I am a video producer. So if you do have any questions about Gnome Sequencer or any problems with macros and the like, please refer to the mod writer on the website or head over to Wow Lazy Macros and maybe they can help you out because they are a support system of people that are specifically there to do that. So keep that in mind. I am not here to help you with your specific problems. I get a lot of people who can't figure things out, and I'm sorry for you guys, but you have to figure it out without my help. So I understand, but good luck to you. I hope this was a useful guide, 
and keep an eye out for future class videos because we are set and we are ready to get rolling on those as soon as possible as I level up to level 100. I've got a few classes that are level 100 and I am continuing that progress but obviously it's going to take some time so be patient and thanks for sticking with me guys I hope this helps you out I hope that you take some time to learn how this mod works don't worry it won't get you banned it's a little dodgy using a Lua file and possibly downloading Lua files from me, but you can trust me, I'm not going to give you any kind of virus. You can't get a virus from a Lua file anyways, you need an executable for that. So I'll probably have links up to uh, Dropbox for the future Luas and uh, sequence files that I'm going to give you. So that'll make it a lot, actually a lot easier for you to use my macros. So keep an eye out, we'll do Ret Pally first and we'll take it from there. Thanks for watching guys, have a wonderful day. This is Kefis, until next time.